This one was done off of the 3 uj 553, which is just a bigger <laughs> platform. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's oh, I thought it was sore. Inkjet printer from Amaki. Mm -hmm. So inside, this is basically layers and layers and layers of UV ink. Think of it almost like an M&M, mm -hmm. where you have, the, if you were to break this open, it would be solid white. Oh. The color is like a candy shell. Oh, like a jawbreaker. Correct. So it applies the, it prints in layers. It's a slicer program will just print it in layers and it applies everything all in one shot. And there's a, just like 3D print printing, there are support structures mm -hmm. for the vertical overhangs. Momaki has a jettable support solution that is water soluble. So it's basically like a, a cube of jelly, just a little shell on just on the outside. It keeps everything supported as it prints and then it washes away with water. Mm -hmm. And you end up with a final, this has no post processes or anything special. To it, this is this is off the printer. Wow! Uh, somebody had to sand it and airbrush it. Wow, that's incredible. So, you know, that's anywhere from promotional prototyping, um, uh, big into the collectible and figurine markets. Nothing really utility. It's it's, it's strong and durable, similar to like an ABS plastic. Hmm. But you're not going to use this as a a toy or anything. Mm. Right? But toy companies use this to prototype. Yeah. Um, one of Mamaki's customers actually is Funko, and they do wow. prototyping using the 3D UJ products, oh. and they're doing different variations of things before they go to market. Oh. So pretty cool, very That's cool stuff. Cool, yeah. And what printer is that? This is the. Uh, these were all done off of the 3D UJ 2207. This one was done off of the 3D UJ 553, which is just a bigger <laughs> platform. So oh, it's no, hard. It's oh, I it's, thought it was soft. No, it's a wow. But again, prototyping, yes. rapid prototyping. This, something like this, this may take 40 hours to print, but it prints overnight, right? So in a day and a half, you have a realistic prototype that you can put on a shelf and if a print buyer is gonna come in and say, that's that's how I want it to look, so oh, go, yeah. let's get into production before you actually made the actual shoe. So there's a lot of different design applications. Uh, even Adobe has Substance Painter now. It's hit the market a few years back, but you know you can paint on three-dimensional uh, OBJs in, in 3D space and you can color and design, apply textures. It's pretty cool. So it's definitely a fun medium. And then these guys here, it's hit the market pretty, pretty hard, is some of these three-dimensional scanners that you can go and stand in. You can go and get your picture made, mm -hmm. and now you can have a figurine. I know, I want to get mine. Yeah, done. so bad. That is so cool. Very detailed. Too. Oh, yeah. I mean, it captures a lot. So just mm -hmm. take, you get into one of those things, it takes a few hundred pictures, mm -hmm. and then it all stitches together, and you get the, the mesh for the actual 3D object oh, okay. with wow. all the colors on top of it. So this guy, you know, depending on the orientation, Look at that. you just print it on a flat table like this, and it just build, 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 build. And color all at the same time. That's, That's insane.